Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the Ryzen master driver is not installed properly and it says driver not installed. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we are going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match, go back to registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And I would suggest you create a backup of the registry before proceeding. If anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. So in order to create a backup, all you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you have to do is select file and then import and navigate to the file location on your computer. So now we're ready to begin. So start by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the system folder. Same thing for control set 001. And then same thing for the services folder. There should be a folder in here that says AMD Ryzen master driver. And go ahead and right click on it. And you want to delete this. It's going to ask you sure you want to permanently delete this key and all of its sub keys. Select yes. And then once that's done, you want to go ahead and restart the computer. So close out of here. And restart. And then hopefully you should be good to go. If you need to go on to Ryzen's website and download the latest drivers and software, you're welcome to do that. But that should hopefully be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do positively help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.